Hello friends, you already know what I'm making, so let's start the build directly. I had some leftover marble from my home construction, so I decided to recycle, reuse or upcycle it, I don't know, but I did something. I started with marking, I'm making a 4x4 inches pan or cutlery holder, whatever you say. I started cutting pieces on the upside down marble cutter. I used a metal guide with a clamp for accuracy. I enjoyed the process so much that I decided to make another smaller version. Why not? It looks even cuter than the bigger one. You will also agree with me. After cutting, the pieces looked like this. I prepared the epoxy adhesive with extremely precise measurement tools, my eyes and hands. <laughs> Who needs a measuring cup? I was thinking of a meter joint, but Marvel is fragile. It breaks quickly, so I chose a basic butt joint. I started applying on the edges of the pieces. I attached those pieces and secured them with tape to avoid movement. Ultimately, I glued them on a base part. The next day, I removed the tape. Oh man, it is so satisfying, I love it. Have you ever made a ball of remove tape? Tell me in the comments. Next, I cut the unwanted base material with the marble cutter. I tried to be as close as possible but avoided cutting my main piece. I know it looks rough but I will take care of it in the next step. I attached the diamond blade to my smaller angle grinder and smooth those extra corners. I use this grinder more often because it's manageable with a single hand. I also use a RPM controller with it. Our main structure is ready. It's time to spice things up. I'm cutting granite pieces which will be attached to the corner of our holder. For the 4x4 holder, I used 1.75 cm thick granite and for the 3x3, I used 1.5 cm granite. After that, I marked the slots cutting area. I was thinking about how I could cut even slot at the edge. It's a bit tricky. So I made a simple rig for that. I cut out scrap wood at a 45 degree angle with a circular saw. It was too thick so I used a hand saw after that. I clamped both part on the marble cutter so they form the right angle. It's not perfect but it turned out very neat. It took me a while to make slots on both holders. Now they look like this. It's glue time again. I hate those gloves. They take forever to wear. I prepared the epoxy again and starting attaching those granite pieces. Some of them were loose so I used tape to secure them in place. It was a very messy process. I removed the tape the next day and the pieces were strongly attached. Tell me what does it look like. After that, I take out my angle grinder with diamond blades again and chopped those unwanted granite pieces from the edge. It also took me a while because I had to cut both sides of a piece. Now it looks like this. I first started with a diamond cup wheel to smooth the rough edges. I grind down the coarse edges. It took me around 30 minutes to do that job. Next, I attached the marble grinding wheel, I smoothened the pieces. I also rounded the edges with it and chamfer on the top and bottom parts. It was a quite a lengthy process, even my camera got hot so I couldn't record it. <laughs> now I'm pretending to use the stone polishing pad in front of you, which I already used off the camera. But now you know it. Finally, the pieces started to look like what I hoped for. The real magic is coming, bad polishing. It is also the most time consuming part. I am using diamond pads which can be attached to an angle grinder. These pads range from 0 to 6000 gits and I have to follow all 7 diamond polishing pads on both pan cutlery holders one by one. I tried to be professional initially but the process was too messy so I had to come outside for this work. I polished both pieces with those 7 polishing pads patiently. Even my camera couldn't record that much longer and got hot. Approximately 2-3 hours they started to look like this. Honestly, I am pretty satisfied with the result. Now here are some cinematic shots. Enjoy.
Hey, thank you so much for watching. I have a request for you. If you enjoyed this build, please like, comment and share this video because it will help me to grow on YouTube. If you want to see my next project, consider subscribing. As you know, it's free. Also, it motivates me. I will provide high quality content. It's my promise. Thanks again and keep crafting. I will see you in the next video.